Uh, what do they know? Nords. <laughs> uh, you know what? Let me, uh, Chill, I know you got one too, but let's get a little bit iPhone-y and then we'll take the break and we'll get more iPhone-y. Um, my awesome thing of the week, have you played with he- Hey Siri much, Chilla? I have. So one of the drawbacks to Hey Siri mm-hmm. is that it had the phone has to be plugged in. Yeah. I we, were, have, we were kind of hoping this would go away when they got out of beta. We, we were, I was hoping, uh, yeah, I was hoping it would go away when it got out of beta. It hasn't. Um, I use it a lot, obviously, at home, mm-hmm. especially when I'm home alone <clears throat> with the, the new kid. Yeah. Um, it makes it so much easier for searching for something or texting someone or anything of that nature so is this like okay google this is like yeah. okay google so basically uh actually well i did i have this plugged in here and i can say um hey siri set my alarm for 7 a.m and it's going and, and actually updates the words a lot quicker than it used to be yeah. like, like like google does so why does it have to be plugged in they they want it on battery i don't i they went off battery because it's always listening now the moto x did this first right um, I didn't realize, I and they have a shopping. special they have a special processor for that. Yeah, they have a special processor that's so it's kind of like how they yeah. they added the processor to the last iPhone, wh- where uh, like the steps and all the fitness stuff, like mm-hmm. it's always looking the for motion the, the motion processor, so it's not sapping your battery as much. So there's no button pushing. Like so for OK Google, you've got to go and say OK Google. No, for for OK Google, it's like my phone is sitting there, and I say OK Google, and it's every you hear the yeah, OK. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. 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 Um, but you have to have you have to have the Google Now launcher. You have to be on this screen, right? You have to be on that screen for that. You have to be on that screen, or unless you have a Moto X, or if you're on the launcher, or if you're on the Moto X was the big one that was that was wherever the phone is. Um, yeah. One of the tablets too, because I know I know uh, Frank Genoa. <clears throat> happy post birthday, Frank! By the way, I was one on Twitter. Um, he had a tablet. I think it was a Nexus. Maybe he had a launcher on it too. I, I think he, I think it's if you have if you have the Now launcher. Yeah, you can do it without having to turn it on or anything or, or whatever. And I think I have to activate because I do have that on my Nexus 7, but yeah. it doesn't really pop up. Uh, but still, it's that, that idea that, you know, you have that hands-free thing. Um, I found it's really nice, again, at night saying, you know, hey, set my alarm for the next morning. Um, I get in the car, plug the thing into the dock, and I'm muscling, you know, I'm fussing <laughs> with my, my seatbelt or whatever. And I say, hey, uh, hey, Siri, open Stitcher. You know, and, and it does. And, and by the time I'm done with whatever I'm doing, it's loaded up and I can see what the latest podcast is for my drive. Hmm. You know, it, it's been really nice for that the last few days. Um, the fun test was because we both have iPhones that are plugged in on our nightstands. Oh. <laughs> so the first <laughs> night after we all updated, I'm like, hey, Siri, da, 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 da. And both of them start responding. <laughs> nice. Well, that's what I was wondering. Like, do you trust it, right? Like, so when I use like, okay, Google, like set my alarm or whatever, right? Like, I still look at the screen because I don't trust it. No, look at the screen for sure. And when you do text, um, it's kind of like uh, if you've ever done with Bluetooth uh, with, with, hey, with, with the Siri. Oh, it's picking up all my words. <laughs> yeah, isn't it funny too? Yeah. Like it's a long, it, it's all, it doesn't stop. Every, it's yeah. like it my, never stops. It's like my whole screen right now. And it keeps, going. <laughs> and it keeps it's going. waiting for you to stop. And it keeps going. It seems to hang on waiting to make sure you're finished. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And it's, it's just filled. By- <laughs> <laughs> all right. Let's see what that does. I'm not sure what you said, Sorgatron. Okay. Um, other side thing that happened. Um, just, we were just kind of having fun with it. And I'm lying there in bed. I'm like, Siri, Hey Siri, tell me a story. Try it. <laughs> I, I have heard she'll come back with different different comments. Um, the one, oh, sorry, it's, go a, ahead. it's a pretty. It's a no. It's a long. It's an actual story. It's like oh. one day there was a personal assistant that applied for a job at Apple, and everybody <laughs> thought oh, she was great. Propaganda. And it's like, and it was like, but it was like, it was like both like sweet and creepy at the same time. Yeah. So it's a uh, that was a new one, and I had I mentioned it on the uh, the morning podcast I've been doing. Um, and somebody tried it and like, I'm like, I'm like, was it creepy or was it nice? And he's like, yes, um, <laughs> it, it basically, it, it basically, but no, I, I really, yeah, I think I kicked it on again. Um, but, uh, that's the one thing that's actually made me. So for the five and the five S I had a battery case, mm-hmm. the Mophie. Oh, then, and I, I thought, you know, I, I actually used it a while at first and then I just became more in the habit of like when I'm at work, 
I would I, I used to just throw my phone down on my desk. Then I got a nice dock where I could see the phone, and it yeah. got me in the habit of always just plugging the phone in because it's two mm. inches from a charger yeah, anyway. Right, right. Yeah. So yeah. why not just throw it on a dock or throw or throw it on a charge? I've been actually so I stopped using that because I got in the habit of actually charging my phone on occasion. Um, that's actually the Hey Siri has actually made me think about getting another charge case because if you're in a situation where you want to use it and you're not around a charger, you could just turn the case on. And it would confuse. <laughs> it would confuse the so, battery and think it was on charge. So that's the uh, the uh, Hey Siri workaround. Yeah. And I'm wondering if in the next phone or somehow they're going to figure out a way with the motion processor or that's something. It, to... I bet your I bet your 6X is going to have the, well, we got a chip that does oh, that too. Or the, or the motion processor does that now. Um, yeah. Just like they did in the Moto X. Yeah. Um, uh, another interesting thing that happened, uh, my <clears> wife <throat> has it plugged in uh, playing Pandora all day at work. And she found out she's on calls and just like just happened to us. And she'd mm-hmm. be like, hey, so-and-so, da 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 and look down, and there's everything transcribed <laughs> as a command the Siri. <laughs> um, but, uh, no, I think it's going to – it's early days. It, you know, it's one of those those new features that works awesome. Like, Siri has never worked this smoothly for me. Siri was mm-hmm. horrible. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It, it, and it's, 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 it's as responsive now as, like, Google Now is. Because uh-huh. I've always been impressed with how Google Now is for that. It's still a little wonky on the glass. Uh, but on the tablet or, or now that you have like Google now on your laptop, right? Mm-hmm. Like mm-hmm. I, I, it's, it's, you know, sometimes I'm just lazy. I'll just open a new tab and be like, uh, okay, Google, what's blah, 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 blah. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's just like the height of laziness at that point, isn't it? Um, well, and that's the one thing I, I think it was interesting before. I don't know if it was back during WWDC or, or when it was, but they said, you know, they were, they were going to do a lot with Siri and I'm sure it's because they were feeling the pain from Google and Microsoft they knew they were going to launch Cortana. I've heard recently they've bumped again. They've bumped up the R and D up in Boston, which is where the Siri group Mm -hmm. is as well as the partnership with IBM and Watson. A lot of, so they're in with Watson now I've heard. That's right. They were doing the business stuff. Watson (laughs) just, they just announced that Watson was going to start releasing business applications using the technology. So I'm I'm interested to see where IBM helps them go with this because now you're going to have all this big business, big data, being able to quickly search through massive amounts of information and return wow. the data. So that could be their answer to what Google now does because yes. Google, I mean, Google has like doesn't doesn't Google kind of do what Watson is where it's like it's just uh, parcel it's its own, that information. Yeah, uh, and Apple had to rely on sites like wolfram alpha and, and different mm-hmm. places yeah, like that and so so they, they like they had to basically turn on specific sources right versus google is like well we are the source right we have everything we are google yes. um interesting so it'll be it, it'll be interesting to see where they take this and how and what i'm happy about is we have more than two companies pushing each other in this in this realm oh we got three so now yeah microsoft i mean is doing a huge push with cortana in fact i hear they're bringing it to the desktop so it's going to be interesting to see how they push each other to just keep upping the game and not just on the search level on the things that are local to the device like open this application or set the alarm or do whatever things that don't always have to kind of phone home just for a transcription so i I would say that one of the things that switched me over to the Nexus, because I it was iPhone in it for years and years, was was kind of the disappointment around Siri when it launched and the hype. I mean, screen size had a huge amount to do with it, but you know, Google is just so much better at recognizing my voice than Siri. Is. So, have you guys seen like improvements in like the voice recognition? Because I've seen a lot of yeah. improvements it, it in was recognition, horrible. especially in like in the in the last year. Yeah, more than in the from the four S to the five. The five to the five. But it's been S. progressive. It's not even like yeah. from one to the other. It's it's they're they're upgrading Pushing. it on the other end. Yeah. You know, you you like I think for like a few times they've like there's another source. They'll answer a new mm-hmm. question you didn't know about. You know, yeah. um. It, so so that it, it's not like a a release schedule like everything else iPhone. It's a constant development that's happening in the background because it's not actually on your phone. No, no everything's yeah. calling out. So, right. and that's the one thing I think they need to work on the transcription. Yeah, I think the.